Hi, this is Shadi. This video wouldn't have been possible without my friend Dax for the information and the resources. His Instagram as well as the reference for this video will be in the description below. So thank you Dax. So what we will do today is actually go through European grappling techniques from the 1600s, 1673 in particular and try to relate them as close as possible to the techniques in the Gokyo or the Judo throws. So the first one will be your classical Morote Gari. As you see here, he is trying to reap uh, above the knee from the back and using his head to push. So he's creating a push-pull mechanism, uh, pushing with the head while reaping with the hands. Incredibly effective. It can be done in Newaza when someone's trying to go in for Sankaku and from there you can grab the legs and go uh, in. Obviously this is illegal today in the stand-up. It's very reminiscent of this catch wrestling throw that I've discussed uh, a few months ago. You can see the head pushing while the hands are trying uh, to reap uh, and from there you can do what is called the Morote Gari or reaping with both hands let's see it uh, in action or this kodokan demo so you see you pull away with the hands you reap the legs with your hands but you can use your head as assistance to push away at the lower part of the abdomen so it can create uh, a far more powerful takedown the next one is a skuinage or a scooping throw you can see at the thigh of the man that's being lifted uh, you can see the fingers of the the one doing the takedown you can see them so he is scooping up the thigh while uh, pushing down at the chest and the neck and lifting up creating a wheel motion a lot of people call it te guruma or hand wheel and it's a, for a good reason because you're creating a wheel shape with your hands but uh, the Kodokan term for it is Sukui Nage or a scooping throw because you scoop up and throw down. So let's see here. I've shared this before. This is someone's trying to get you in a headlock. And from there, you actually push at the neck and head and chest and scoop up with the hand and take down. It's a great self defense technique demonstrated here by Hickson Gracie. And looks almost effortless the next one is I don't want to go too much into it but it to me it looks like two hands seo uh, I don't know how exactly you're gonna finish this type of throw because you have two hands that or two sides that are occupying your shoulders and you cannot load on one side like seo or what is called in England the flying mare uh, so you actually just dump forwards uh, above your head, I'm, I would assume, but uh, it's not somewhere in the Gokyo. Morote Seoenage or Seoenage with both hands, you leave one hand free and load them down on one side. So I don't know exactly how it works. This next one is uh, your knee pick. Uh, it's very simple what is happening here. You are gripping. Uh, the knee from the behind from the back and you are pulling it towards you and pushing the hand or yanking it down it's another way to do it especially if the sleeves are easy to grip but this is what is known as kuchiki daoshi uh, or a dying tree a takedown so to speak um, so let's see it here in this kodokan demonstration so it's being done on the sleeve side you pick up the knee from the inside and you reap it away a little bit different from the photo uh, the photo is reaping it from the outside while here you see it's being done from the inside let's see here from the close-up it's called a knee pick in a jujitsu nowadays um, it's easy to pronounce rather than kuchiki taoshi And the next one is 
Orko Sotogari or Ko Sotogake. You see here he's blocking the leg from the outside while pushing at the upper part of the chest. You can rip away with the leg or you can keep it still. Um, still would mean Gake and if you rip away it would be Gari. So Kosoto Gake uh, it's like a hanging from the outside, a minor inner hang and Ko Soto Gari is minor uh, reap, outer minor reap. Go here and then you reap away. Very effective and it does not require a lot of energy to perform. So as Funatonaki said, it's a throw for big and small judoka and for a good reason. The next one is, of course, hip toss. You can find it all over the world in any grappling discipline. Folk style wrestling, you can see it here, o goshi or ukigoshi, depending on how you lift your opponent. But hip tosses are found throughout the world. It's very organic. Uh, and at the same time, it can be done with ease and effectiveness and you can load much larger opponent on your hips and throw them down. So, Ogoshi or Ukigoshi, which was Jigoro Kano's favorite takedown. So, no gi needed, you can just simply grab the wrist and put your hand around the back and use your hips as fulcrum so you can get the takedown. It's a very effective and devastating throw. And finally, the last one, it's like a sacrificing technique. Uh, you can use both knees or uh, the hook of your ankles, like a butterfly sweep. Uh, it can be found in also old uh, self-defense uh, manuals uh, in Japan, specifically for uh, women when they were being uh, assaulted. So it's a great way to do this uh, particular throw or sweep. Uh, let's see here. This is from the uh, women's self-defense technique from the Showa period, I believe, 1910, if I'm not mistaken. It's called Ashigarami in this book. I don't know why, because Ashigarami is, means tangled legs. Well, I don't see tangled legs in particular. So here you see uh, you can grab both lapels and take down or both sleeves and take them over you and beyond and it's very devastating especially when you fall on hard floor so let's see here the balloon sweep it's called in jujitsu so you can use the head or you can use both collars or any type of fabric you can get your hands on and you pull them down towards you extend your legs and guide them you either behind you or to the side depend on where they're weight is loaded so here Hickson actually loads him to the side and gets on top very effective whether you're on the ground or standing up so uh, this is mainly it if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also check out the links in the description for the information and Dax's YouTube channel and Instagram as well as my patreon link this was Shady and thank you for listening